Right, well, if you could spend a couple of minutes uh, practicing whatever skill that you've been doing or you said you were going to do. You were working on support and str uh, support, uh, skull and draw support stroke. Right, so that was from last week, wasn't it? No, no, that's fine. I was only picked up down because um, I wasn't so sure, sure if um, you had anybody. So if you, you, you want Dan as well, that's fine. If you go over there, Dan, I was, just, I was making sure you've got somebody down all right. Right, so. So working in this box here, uh, the three lanes, um, and we can probably work as, as far as uh, here. All right. So uh, just do a warm up for a few minutes, Rob. Your last session was uh, knife and draw, wasn't it? And draw stroke, which you yeah, right, fine. Just do a warm up now for a few minutes. All right. Right. Just stop there and then turn around this way because um, Rich is working in that space there. If you just stop here then, uh, Rob, thank you. I'll just use this corner so you're both facing me. Don't get too close anyway. Um, right. Basically, What we're looking at is the um, low brace, which is a support stroke. Um, you've you already used one support stroke, which is the skull and skull and draw support stroke. So, when would you use a low brace? Yeah. Yeah. When I'm, I use a low brace for. Um, what stroke do you use when you go into the water from a bank? Yeah. So when you're going into the water, you use a brace to come from the bank. If you're going down, <coughs> say, a weir, and you use a low brace. In that position, as if you're going down, have you been down a weir? Have you a weir, a concrete weir like that? Have you ever been down one, uh, Asa? Uh, 
yeah, yeah. Actual slope going down a weir, you can quite often just use that as a brace there, just to lean on it as, as you're going down. Right, basically, did you, um, I put a video up on the, uh, the low brace, but uh, the starting position for a low brace, basically, is what they call a monkey position. So you really, it, it's sort of having this position like that. Then, um, if you're going on the one side, tipping on the one side, you push down, and then once you push down or slap the water like that, you move it forward and then knife it up like that. But at the same time as you're doing that movement, you're going, moving, your, you know, you're flicking your body over like that as well. So you're flicking the, the hip here over towards the bit, middle of the boat. So it's like that, and then twisting your body to move the paddle over like that, to move your body over. So if I'm in the water here, right, it's slapped down, moving it through the water like that, then twisting the body over here, isn't it? You're flicking your back of your bum here to flick it over. Okay, so, have a, yeah, yeah, so, um, really have a go at practicing that on both sides. Don't forget that position. It's pushing it down and then bringing it up like this, Asa. Pushing it down and then move, moving it up like that knife movement. Yeah, it's like that and then moving it over like that. Okay, have a go at that. So it's the back of your paddle. Have you got your paddle the right way round? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. So it's the back of your paddle you've got to use, uh, and keeping it flat. So the the paddle slaps slaps the water, Rob. Asa. Well done, Rob. Okay. If you both come come here. So with the monkey position, in a way, you've got to get it in line with the pivot part here. Yeah. So as the wall, as it, if you watch this, Rob, as it goes down like that, you then start to move it up like, like you sort of slap the water, and really, it sort of slaps it there, moves forward like that. So if you come here, Rob. So your back, your, your monkey's like that. So it's really upright like that. Maybe extend it like that. Down and then. So down. So the 
monkey position, like that. Okay. Right, Rob, hold on a second. Have you got your um, tape? Right, okay. Is it slipped out? So Rob, come here. Where's your uh, middle bit? I would say the position. Right, okay. Well, it will do. There, the other side. Right. Okay. It's, um, now, get yourself in a monkey position, and what you can do is push that. If you slide your arm there and move this over here like that, yeah. okay, and then slap the water. No, hold on, let me, let me take it through. Get in my, that position, slap it, and then move it forward like that. Yeah. So. You can extend it, no, it's get lined up, monkey position, yeah. slide it and then, right, but lean into it and then, so you've got to lean into it, so extend it right out, always start off that position yeah. there, and then look towards it in a sense, look towards that way, extend the, the paddle out yeah. in a way, Right, so it's like that. Get yourself, always start off with that monkey position. Right. Like that. Right, yeah. turn towards me, to you, and then down, and then up like that. So you're away, you're, you're slapping it down, and then moving it up. Okay? Lean into it. So don't forget, you've got to start in a straight position. That's it. You can actually go from one side to the next side, can't you? But instead of looking at the front, you should be looking to the side of you. Every time you slap it, you push it in. And making sure, at the moment, look at where your arms are, where are your arms. Always think, you've got to be like this. Right, so set yourself up and then do it, that's it. Right, Asa, what I want you to do now is see how far with your monkey position. Yeah. So hold your inner monkey position. See how far you can lean out to your, you know, to your turning over. But don't forget, you've got to move the paddle got to move the paddle through the, you're pushing it down here and then moving it up there like that. And you lean, as you move, yeah, as you're leaning, as you're leaning that way, like that, your body then starts to, if I'm here, your body, as soon as it starts going like that, you start to move your body over.